Remember when you were a kid in class and the teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Then there was always one kid who would say, I want to be the guy who gets paid to playtest video games. And like clockwork, the entire class would just suddenly change their answer to match his. But here's the thought. What if instead of just playing video games, you could actually create them? Hi, my name is Smart Polly, and today we're going to be diving into why aren't more people making video games and why you should actually start today. Stick around because at the end of this video, you might just be inspired to stop playing games and start making them. Hello everyone, I'm Smart Polly, and over a decade I've been creating games inside of Unreal Engine. What started as a simple hobby has turned into one of the largest Unreal Engine 5 educational game development channels on YouTube, and I've been at that point spending hours upon hours playing games, dreaming about how they are made, and wondering if you could ever create something like that yourself. The truth is, making games is actually more accessible than ever, yet so many people never take the first leap. Why? In this video we're going to be breaking down the barriers holding people back and show you that there's no better time to actually start making games than right now. Whether you are a complete beginner or someone who's been curious about game development, this is your sign to stop watching from the sidelines and start building something incredible. So I started learning Unreal Engine back in high school around 2014, 2015, and at this time there was no Unreal Engine class and I was actually teaching myself during a independent computer study period. Unreal Engine 4 was just released around this time and it actually wasn't free like it is today. You had to pay a $20 a month subscription just to use the engine. And as a broke high school student, I had to scrape together some money every single month just to keep learning the engine. But it just wasn't the cost that made things hard. Learning resources were actually incredibly scarce at the time. There were hardly any YouTube tutorials, basically just the official Unreal Engine YouTube channel. And I found this website that actually sold beginner courses, but it was paywalled at $30 a month. So between the engine subscription, so paying for the actual engine and the course. I was paying nearly $50 a month just to learn the engine and it was an absolute grind but I was determined to make it work. Fast forward to today, it's a completely different story. Unreal Engine is free and there are thousands of free tutorials, forums, communities to help you learn. You don't need to spend a dime to get started but despite all of these resources, so many people don't take the first leap and why is that? So let's break down the common myths and misconceptions of learning on religion. The first myth is that it's too hard. I get it, game development can seem intimidating, but trust me, if I could figure it out as a high schooler with barely any resources, you can too. Unreal Engine definitely has evolved over the past 10 years, and it definitely has transformed from solely just a game engine to do absolutely much more. Hell, in addition to games, you can even make movies, films, interactive experiences, product showcases, and some parts of the engine can legitimately be someone's full-time job, but that shouldn't discourage you because there are so many free learning resources out there when compared to 10 years ago. YouTube, for example, has loads of free tutorials and content. And that's actually how I learned Blueprints or the visual scripting system of Unreal Engine. I watched this 30 part tutorial series on how to make a inventory system. And basically after hours of just copying each tutorial step by step, the repetition finally got to me and things started to actually click. And I understood what we were doing, what the different variable types, all the nodes that were connecting. So you just have to give it some time and things will actually start to click. The second myth, I don't have time. Learning Unreal Engine in high school, I was juggling classes and homework as well as a part-time job. You don't need to dedicate over 40 hours a week to this. Start small, even if it's just an hour a day on the weekends. I mean, my class period was only 40 minutes long and that's really the only time that I had every other day to work on learning Unreal Engine. And that wasn't even that busy compared to later on when I started my YouTube channel. Fast forward to 2020, when I started making videos, I was actually working a full-time nine to five job taking online college classes, and on top of that, I was working on Unreal Engine projects, recording and uploading and editing bi-weekly YouTube videos. So you always have the time to actually do something, even if it's just for an hour or maybe 30 minutes out of your day. I mean, you're watching this video right now, and that means you at least have 10 minutes you can dedicate to learning Unreal Engine. The third myth is that it's too expensive. Honestly, this isn't a myth anymore. Unreal Engine has been free for many years, and there are endless free tutorials online. Honestly, the only quote expensive part is having a decent or okay PC that is able to run on religion. You don't really need a super computer. In fact, I've been able to run on religion on some of the lowest end hardware just by adjusting the editor settings, like turning off the real-time lighting and turning down the scalability settings. So there are these tricks that you can do to be able to run the engine on even a potato computer. That way you can at least be able to learn and use Unreal Engine in the meantime. And when I was learning Unreal Engine back in the day, I was paying nearly $50 a 
month just to learn. $30 of that was going to this website called Pluralsight, where they have these Learn on Religion courses for beginners. Honestly, you don't need to spend a single penny on learning on religion because there are so many free high quality YouTube tutorials out there. Unreal Sensei has a full five hour beginner tutorial. Heck, I have multiple two hour beginner tutorials and a three part beginner series for learning blueprints. There are a lot of paid courses out there that cost hundreds of dollars. Even colleges offer expensive curriculums and learning on religion. But honestly, most of these paid courses and curriculums are overpriced and they often throw a ton of filler content that don't focus on the practical skills that you actually need to build a game. And that's exactly why I created my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. I wanted to offer something that's not only affordable, but also laser focused on teaching you these skills to create a fully functional multiplayer survival game. One of the most popular and challenging genres in game development. This course is packed with hands-on projects, step-by-step -step tutorials, and insider tips that I've been learning from over a decade on working with Unreal Engine. Whether you are a complete beginner or someone who's looking to level up your skills, this course was designed to get you results without breaking the bank. So if you're ready to stop dreaming about making games and actually start building one, check out the link in the description. It's the course that I wish I had when I was starting out, and I can't wait to see what you guys actually create with it. So the fourth myth is I'm not creative enough. And when I started out, I didn't know what I was doing either, but I remember staring at a blank screen thinking, how can I even come up with an idea for a game? But here's the truth. Creativity isn't something that you're born with. It's just a skill like you develop over time, just learning to code or design levels. Creativity grows with practice. You can start small and your first project doesn't need to be the next Fortnite or Elden Ring. In fact, some of the most iconic games started out as simple ideas. Minecraft began as just a basic block building prototype. Flappy Bird was a super minimalistic game. The key here is to just start. When I was learning, I began making the mistake of trying to create a triple A video game as my first game. I actually wanted to create the next Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And so I learned 3D modeling and was absolutely frustrated when I couldn't figure out how to create a decent 3D model. But the thing is, you should really be focusing on trying to start small. Start by creating a simple game with a few mechanics. Essentially try to make a few tiny games. These small projects will actually help build confidence in the engine and help you understand the tools. And that's just how creativity works. It builds upon itself little by little. And remember, you don't have to do it all alone. Collaboration can be a huge part of your game development journey. There are many different types of game development communities you can join. And if you're not great at art, you can team up with an artist. Or if just teaming up is not your thing, you can obviously turn to the Unreal Marketplace and get things like pre-made assets or even free assets for your game. So if you are sitting there thinking, I'm not creative enough, let me tell you this, you are. You actually haven't given yourself the chance to just explore it yet. So start with something simple and keep iterating. You'll actually be amazed on how quickly your creativity grows. And who knows, maybe that small idea you start with today could actually turn into something incredible tomorrow. So let's actually talk about why now is the perfect time to start making games and why you shouldn't wait another day to dive in. Game development is one of the most rewarding creative outlets out there. Think about it, you can bring your ideas to life, whether it's a story that you've been dreaming about, a unique gameplay mechanic or a world that you want to explore. Game development lets you turn those ideas into something real that you can actually play. And I still remember the first time that I saw people playing the game that I made. It was a multiplayer platformer, but seeing them enjoy something that I created was an incredible feeling. And that's just the magic of game development. You're not just consuming content, you're actually creating it. And there's nothing quite like the satisfaction of watching someone else experience something that you've built. The gaming industry is bigger than ever. In 2023, the global gaming market was worth Worth over 200 billion and is only growing from indie games to AAA titles. There's room for everyone, but the thing is, you don't need to work for a big studio to succeed. Indie games are thriving, and platforms like Steam, HIO, and even mobile app stores make it easier than ever to publish your game. Games like Among Us and Stardew Valley started out as a passion project by small teams or even solo developers. So who's to say that your game couldn't be the next big hit? In addition to that, something that people don't talk about enough is games have the power to inspire inspire, connect, and even change lives. Think about the games that have actually impacted you, the ones that made you laugh, cry, or think differently about the world. I know it sounds cheesy, but when you make a game, you're actually creating something that could have the same impact on someone else. Whether it's a fun little mobile game or an epic story-driven adventure, your game could be the reason someone smiles after a long day or discovers a new passion. And that's the power of game development. It's not just about making games, it's about creating experiences that matter. So why should you start making games today? Because it's it's creative, rewarding, and more accessible than ever because the skills that you'll learn can open doors that you've never imagined and because your game could be
be the next one to inspire someone, to bring people together, or to change the way that we think about games. But I know getting started can feel overwhelming, so that's exactly why I created my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. It's designed to take you from beginner to a confident developer, teaching you step by step how to build a fully functional multiplayer survival game. The course is packed with everything I've learned over a decade of working with Unreal Engine. Whether you're a complete beginner or someone looking to level up your skills, this course is the ultimate shortcut to creating something amazing. And the best part is that it will not break the bank compared to other courses that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So what are you guys waiting for if you are ready to stop dreaming about making games and actually start building one? Click the link in the description to learn about the course and kickstart your game development journey today. And that's pretty much it for this video. So let me know what you guys' thoughts about this down in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. And that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.